Hey guys, I'm gonna redo that video I just put out, how to load and unload film in a Leica M3 because I missed a few uh, things that I do uh, and I forgot to put them in the video. Plus my camera looked like hell, so I cleaned it up a bit here for you. So here we go, we're gonna do it again. I got some crappy old uh, Legacy 100 film. I got a ton of this stuff. And this stuff is from, yeah, 2011. And uh, it's kind of crappy film, but, um, it's actually not bad uh, for hacking around. So I'm gonna load this guy up and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So with a film camera, as you know, uh, it could be sitting in the closet for five years <laughs> before you pick it up again. And there could be film in it. There's no way to tell. So there could be film in this, how I do it. I take up the, uh, the rewind spool and I give it a twist. And if there's no tension on it, I know there's no film in it. So that's uh, just to be safe. Um, and anyway, if there was film in it, you wouldn't know what ISO you're shooting probably anyway. So there you go. You're gonna pop the back off. This has got a little flat flush mount latch. You just give it a twist and this back will pop off and hopefully there's no film in it. And there you go, we're safe. And uh, that's it there. So there's a take up spool, it's right in here. I'm gonna flip the back up and there you go, no film. And you just pull up this take up spool. It should just come right out. And there it is there. It's also made of brass, slick. A little notch here, and I'll give you a close up here in a second. Um, and what you're gonna do is, just as the diagram says, you're gonna feed the film into this spool like this. Um, and it's going to pinch it and you're going to stuff it back in. So you're going to tuck this film, this little lip that's going on here. You can see it right there. There's a little bit of a gap there in the spool so you can fit it in. Slide it in there and you're going to keep it tight up against the wall of the take-up spool. I'll flip it over for you so you can see it a little bit better. And uh, there you go. And you can see an arrow. You can see that arrow. And it's just got little perforations in it where you can see the film. So pull it out a bit. There you go. You can tell I'm not in all the way and now I'm coming into it and I'm sliding in. I want to fill that arrow right to the nose and I'll, of course I bent the film trying to do this on film and it's usually really easy to do. There you go. But of course I'm trying to do it here on the camera. It's not working. There it is right there. You see it just past the arrow. That's the film. That's where it's supposed to go. Now you just want to stuff it in there and uh, you can take out as much slack as you need and just stuff it right in there done deal so the film spool sides in good but the take up spool is kind of crooked so i'm just going to jam it in there sometimes it binds up here again guys it's harder to do this while filming it hopefully you can see that it's sitting over those little cogs there and it's in the film so it looks good to go i'm just going to give it a little bit of tension here there you can see it and that's it. So there you go. So you're going to grab this here and this little divot here fits into that take up spool. And again, spring loaded. And you're going to just sit it on over the top. Got to make sure this guy is on though. Check it out. You want that on there so it's totally closed. And uh, make sure it's good to go. Crank it so it's tight. Flap it down and it's good. So what you want to do or what I do, I lift this... Uh, rewind knob up and I just give it some tension. I just kind of wind up the slack inside that spool of film or that roll of film and you can actually feel it kind of tighten up in there. It's there now and I'm going to crank this guy and you can see this moving which means I'm loaded up and good to go. I've actually shot a roll of film or thought I shot a roll of film where it wasn't on the cog. It was just sliding. Actually it wasn't on a Leica, it was on an old Nikon. So you just want to make that, uh, make sure that's hooked up and this guy's turning and you want to bring this to zero and you're good to go. There you go, it's at zero and uh, yeah, time to get to the mountains and take some shots. So there you go guys, 25, the roll is shot and it's stiff. You don't want to crank this when you're on that last shot, otherwise you might, you might break the film. So what you want to do is you want to rewind this back onto the film spool. Um, so you can take up the rewind knob like this and you're just going to hit this button here. You can see this is the rewind lever. You want to crank that. There you go. And you're just going to crank this guy. And you're going to wind it, wind it. They do make winders for these where you can put on top here and they crank a lot quicker, but I'm never in that much of a rush. And you can tell when this thing pops. There's a little bit of tension there as it's pulling the film back into the case. There it goes. It popped, clicked, and that's it. Done deal. So now you're going to flip it over and hopefully the film's back in there. You're going to pop this off. 
and take that off and it should just pop out and there it is good to go no screw ups no problems this guy's empty again ready to go every time you push this back in it resets it so just take note of that and uh, away you go that's it piece of cake easy money go develop this in the basement wash them and away you go